And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Bullet Super Speedway as we prepare for the second qualifying race to find out what final three drivers will get their way into the NSRA 400. In this field is our defending champion from the Snickers Cup Series Season 2, Adam Chambers. But he, even if he doesn't get into one of those three slots, then he's going to be able to have the championship provisional, which is why only three drivers will make their way in if they are not Adam Chambers. On the poll for today's race, Samet Ozkan making his first career Snickers Cup Series start. The same for Barney Ward taking over the number 49 that Seth Cole drove for the first three races of this season. And then you got Jacob Lawler and Jake Johnson also trying to get into the race. All these drivers trying to get into the race. And here is the 29 car field for the second qualifying race for the NSRA 400. So we are preparing for these drivers to take off here. Smet Ozcon taking the new number 52 ride. He's trying to make his first career race and his first career start. I'm just going to look through here see if there are any other names that I need to mention. And I'm not seeing any so we're good to go. Barney Ward end up finishing second in the NSRA 500, the NSRA one-year anniversary tribute race, driving the car, that uh, number 29 car, and we were mentioning that he was going to be moving over here to the number 49 team, with Seth Cole moving to the 52, and here you go, there's Barney Ward in that number 49 car, so he's going to try and make his first career race and his first career Snickers Cup Series start as well. Green flag is displayed for Samet Ozcon. He will lead them down into turn one. We had a pretty good race in the first qualifying race, and uh, they were able to remain green for quite a good few laps. As here comes the 03 car, just like that. That's Tim Fiegel down on that inside line. And oh, there they are. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, look at Tanner Sullivan's car. That's Tanner Sullivan's 73. That car is actually caught in the fence. Somebody get some emergency crew to him fast. Oh my goodness! I I hope I hope Tanner's okay. That oh I don't I don't even want to know the G's that were on that. Tim Fiegel leads the way over Jacob Lawler, Samet Ozcon, Barney Ward. That's the top four. But oh my goodness! Adam Chambers he was involved in that. So was Pichu London, Ricky James he was involved. Sasha Dawson involved. Looks like Matthew Rodriguez got through. Rob Marshall was involved. It looks like there's a spin further up here. Oh! Who's that? Aaron Reed? And Christopher Blake. But I just hope and pray that Tanner Sullivan is okay. Is this car on pit road? Yes, it is. Jake Johnson started off, I believe, in the fourth position. He was involved. And with Adam Chambers involved in this wreck, you could probably be certain now that he's going to have to use a championship provisional. I doubt he'll be able to finish in the top thirty in the top three here today. So the top three who finish this race will make it in along with Adam Chambers, who undoubtedly is going to use a championship provisional. Here he comes down pit road along with Sasha Dawson and Pichu London. Let's see if the number 27 is going to be able to continue. He was racing the Quaker State paint scheme here. Oh, he just rear-ended Pichu London. Now he's got front-end damage. That car's definitely going to retire now. But he was running the Quaker State paint scheme that he ran almost all of last season in and got his Snickers Cup Series championships. Not going to happen to have the same charm here at Bull Super Speedway, but uh, let's see what happened. Well, you know, I've seen a lot of hard hits, a lot of really, really uh, unusual wrecks here at Bull Super Speedway, but none like this one. Look at the force. Tanner Sullivan gets up into Jake Johnson, and, and the two of them go down to the wall, but watch the 73 car snap around like that. Look at that. Look at that. I have never seen a race car do that before. Th that is just absolutely scary. 
horrifying. I can't come up with any more adjectives, but it is just... Oh my goodness. Let's see what happened to Jake Johnson. I think others were involved further up in the tunnel turn. Well, this is from the camera, different camera angle here. This is Tanner Sullivan still caught there. That's the driver's side facing down to the track, so he's actually trapped inside that race car. And here's the wreck further up. Alexander Dawson gets a little piece of it. Sasha Dawson, Dylan Poteet gets some of it. Ziggy Bain got turned around, so did Chambers. Matthew Rodriguez, he got some of it. Matthew McCormick, Rachel Williams, Jeff Ehlers, Michael Harvey. And I think William Duncan may have gotten some of it as well. Christopher Blake and Aaron Reed had something happen further up. We'll look at that now. Here it was, just some contact between Aaron Reed and Mark George. Sends the 66 spun around. And Robert Cruz going to get down to the inside line, miss the spinning Aaron Reed machine. Aaron Reed picking up sponsorship for the rest of the season in the 66, but he's still trying to make his first career Snickers Cup Series start, and it will not happen here at Bolt Super Speedway, it seems. But where's Christopher Blake in all this? Okay, Blake is actually... Let's, let's fast forward just a little bit, because he's not even up here yet. Okay, let's see what happens here. Aaron Reed's trying to get going now after getting his car righted, and... Oh, Christopher Blake just goes right into the back of him. Oh, man. That's a hard, hard lick, and uh, if you want to see just how hard, I think we actually do have a rear camera on the 66 car. On board with the 66 of Aaron Reed. There's a contact from Mark George. Sends him around. Gets the car turned around. Okay, now we'll continue on, but here comes Christopher Blake. Oh, wow. You know, what Blake did was he went down, hit the apron. And that sent him up into the 66. A lot of drivers taken out as a result of that wreck, including Aaron Reed, Christopher Blake, Sasha Dawson, Pichu, London. Also, Adam Chambers is out. He will end up getting in in the championship original. Jake Johnson, Tanner Sullivan, Ricky James, and the 87 of Bob Marshall. This is the top 10 as we go back to green. Tim Fiegel, Jacob Lawler, Samet Oscon, Barney Ward, Jake Rogers, Justin Perry, Stephen Dillon, Mark George, then Robert Cruz and Levi Shones complete your top 10. Here's Barney Ward going underneath Samet Oscon. That's for the third position. That's the, the final transfer spot, really. Jake Rogers ended up qualifying his way into the Las Vegas race last week. Having to do it via qualifying race. He's trying to do it the second week in a row as a battle is on for the lead. It's Jacob Lawler to the inside of Tim Fiegel in the 03. So far, so good as far as their racing. It, it, it's been really good with these Snickers Cup cars. They're trying to figure out what's happened over with the Mobile Cup cars because they just kept wrecking and wrecking and wrecking, but Tell you what, these guys, they get separated and they get put on a pretty good racing show. They did in the race, in the first qualifying race, that's for certain. Yeah, I thought I saw another discount tire dodge there. That's Stephen Dillon in the 12 car trying to catch up to his fellow racer number 92. I, guess, I, I think the 92 car actually gets some help from Penske, and so you, you could say these two really are teammates. As Stephen Dillon and Jake Rogers, they would love to be able to get into the qualifying race, into the race, no doubt about that. Join their teammate John Dillon. And here we go, battle is on for the lead. It's actually going to be Jake Rogers going for it. He went three wide with Tim Fiegel and Jacob Lawler right there. So Rogers is the new leader. Fiegel into second, battle on for third. Smith Oscon wants it from Stephen Dillon. Boy, I'll tell you what, something could break out here at any moment, and a lot of drivers running here near the back could very easily move up into the top three spots. Lawler into the back of Steven Dillon. That could have been close. As Smet Oscon will take the third position, now looks for second as Tim Fiegel is taking the lead away from Jake Rogers. William Duncan, we know, is damaged, so he's off the pace, so Robert Band's only hope for a teammate in this race is Tim Fiegel for Jermaine Racing there. 
as here comes Jake Rogers back to the inside line. Looks like Jacob Lawler almost thought about putting a slingshot move on Samet Ozcon for third, but instead he's kind of pushing the 52. Jake Rogers continues to try and get to the inside of Tim Fiegel. Right now, top three that would transfer in are Fiegel, Rogers, and Ozcon, but Jacob Lawler and Robert Cruz, they are there in fourth and fifth. Barney Ward and Stephen Dillon, I don't think we've heard the last of them yet. Three laps to go. Jake Rogers, he's he's tried to close in on the 3 He's succeeded, but he cannot put a move to the inside of him. That's been his biggest problem. Meanwhile, back here, we got a battle on for fourth. Smet Ozcon going underneath Robert Cruz. Stephen Dillon and Barney Ward starting to join that battle, along with Justin Perry in the 94. New third place car, that is Jacob Lawler. So he would transfer in if the race ended. Two laps to go, the HendrickCars.com Chevy. With a chance to be able to make the race. For Tim Fiegel, it would be his first career Snickers Cup Series start. We ended up having in the first qualifying race, Matt Nayton in the 31, making his first career Snickers Cup Series start in the NSRA 400 by winning his qualifying race. It could happen here today in the second qualifying race with Tim Fiegel. Top three still remains to be Fiegel, Rogers, and Lawler. White flag is displayed blade for the 03. You can bet one driver that is very happy to be seeing this is Robert Ban, knowing he's going to have a fellow teammate to be able to work with at the race in the NSRA 400. Jacob Lawler, though, he's looking for the second position under Jake Rogers. If I were him, I would worry about just finishing in the third position because Smet Ozcon is starting to come up here along with Robert Cruz. Jake Rogers thinking about the lead from Tim Fiegel will not be able to get it off turn four. And the top three that will transfer in are going to be Tim Fiegel, Jake Rogers, and Jacob Lawler. Checkered flag waves. Tim Fiegel will win. And whoa! That was a little close. The three guys that are going to transfer in. Lawler, Rogers, and Tim Fiegel almost all got together right there. Full classified results are in. Let's take a look. Well, I thought they were in. But we know that Fiegel... Here we go. There we go. Fiegel, Rogers, and Lawler. They will transfer their way in. Smet Oscon was very, very close. Robert Cruz as well. Stephen Dillon. Barney Ward was close. Seventh place finish for him. Justin Perry. Rachel Williams actually, I think, started dead last, if my memory serves me correctly. So that was a good run for her, even if she didn't make it in. Matthew McCormick, 10th. Ralph Mason. He ended up making the race last week. Will not this week. He finished 11th. Jeff Ehlers, 12th. Mark George, 13th. Mark... Michael Harvey in 14th, William Duncan 15th, Dylan Poteet in 16th, 17th was Alexander Dawson, Matthew Rodriguez 18th, 19th Levi Shones, and 20th Ziggy Bain. Those cars finished the race, everybody else did not. As you take a look at where you finished. So we now know the drivers that are going to transfer their way in. Adam Chambers is going to get uh, use one of his five championship provisionals to get in as he finished 25th here today. So that leaves him only four more championship provisionals to use this season. So uh, obviously he'll want to have a good run at Bullet Super Speedway and an SRA 400 race, no doubt, to get back into the top 35, so we won't even have to worry about that. And we will see Tim Fiegel make his first career Snickers Cup Series start. Jake Rogers is going to be able to qual he qualifies in for his second straight race. And Jacob Lawler in the number 51 finally gets in to the NSRA Snickers Cup Series after uh, he was a go or go homer pretty much all last season as well. A good run could put him inside the top 35 in points when we leave week number four. Well, hope that you enjoyed this race. Hope you'll tune in for the NSRA 200, 300, and 400, all going to be coming here from the Bullet Super Speedway. To those who qualify, congratulations. To those who didn't, well, you may have a chance next week. Thanks for watching the NSRA Sports Channel, offline racing at its best.